it was really crazy. Like, yeah. that's whenever I was with him, I was went on that cho- talk show for the Christians. Yeah, I was going to ask you about that. So tell us a little bit about that. So in that time, I was actually going to church with his mom, mm-hmm. um, Seven Day Adventist Church. Mm-hmm. And, like, uh, he made me dress, like, super modestly. Like, he would call me, like, a dirty whore, like, all the time. Like, I hated myself. Like, I was even, like, hallucinating sometimes. Like, whenever I look in the mirror, it would be, like, a different face. Wow. And, like, I just didn't, I don't know. I was just, like, I was going to church a lot. And then one day I was walking into his mom's room before church and I heard her and her sister on the phone talking, saying, just don't bring her, you know, and it hurt my feelings a lot. Mm -hmm. And I was like, but why? And she wouldn't tell me. And then she finally told me. And I guess like some teenage boys at the church had recognized me and like they were from the porn that you did. Yeah. Passing that around in youth group. And they just didn't want me coming anymore. So I was like, I'm not even doing anything. Like, I'm a good person. Like, okay. So then I, like, the show was looking for stories, and I reached out, and I was like, I have a story. Like, just because I did this, I'm not a bad person. Of course, they edited it, like, and took out big chunks, like, of things that we were talking about Mm -hmm. and made it look a lot like more like I was slamming the industry. Mm -hmm. But, like, I wasn't talking bad about the industry at all. I was talking about what I experienced while I was Mm -hmm. in the industry. Right. Like, the the stuff that was happening to me, like, wasn't on set. The Mm -hmm. stuff that was happening to me was, like, when I was off set because of the people that I was, like, running around with Mm -hmm. and how that, like, made me feel like nothing, basically. Right. And, like, how I was going to my Christian school, like, when I was in college. And when they found out that I was doing it, like, how I was being shunned. And, like, how every time I, like, tried to come back into the church, I was basically being rejected or, like, made to feel like I didn't belong there. So my goal with that was to make people see that I am just a normal person. Like, just because I did that, like, just because I did porn, like, doesn't mean that I'm not a good person. Mm -hmm. But, yeah. That's, like, one of the most frustrating things to me because I've heard stories like this before, you know. There's so many, I mean, we see these comments all the time, like, go get a real job, get out of porn, it's ruining your life. And then some people leave porn because it's not suited for them or whatever their reasons are. And then they try to get a real job or they try to, you know, go back to church or whatever it is. And then they get rejected from these places that they're supposed to, like, I mean, I would say I've, I'm not religious at all. I've never been to church, but I assume that that's a place that's supposed to be accepting and welcoming and like embrace you yeah they don't which like i mean where are you supposed to go if like you don't have family yeah and like i thought the whole like thing about jesus is that like he forgives (laughs) you and like you commit you admit your sins and then he's like welcome home child like what i've realized is like (laughs) that's all basically like a facade people put on i'm sure there's good churches places right but religion is just not a thing for me. I yeah. feel like I believe in unity and, like, people being one and just spending, like, love and light and, like, making choices that would never hurt anybody. Mm-hmm. Just trying to be, like, the best you can be. Yeah. Um, Yeah, I think I grew up Southern Baptist. And, mm-hmm. you know, like, I've read the Bible a lot. And, like, I always felt guilty. Like, even when I was younger. Like, if I were to, like, have told a lie, I would get sick and cry. I'd, like, wake my dad up and tell him the truth. You know what I mean? Or, like... um. If I'm talking to, even now, like, if I'm talking to my husband and I say something stupid, like, yeah, and my friend even said that. And if if it wasn't true, like, a few minutes later, I'll be like, I don't know why I said that. I'm sorry that I, like, that wasn't true. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I still get that impeding guilt. Yeah. I feel like that's what happened to me with religion. Yeah. I was like, I'm going to go to hell. Like, anytime I'd cuss or masturbate, I would cry after and pray to God and be like, I'm sorry. Like, I won't do it anymore. Like, please, like, forgive me, you know? So you don't believe in – do you believe in God at all? I don't believe in God. I believe, like, I am a God. Like, I believe that, like, I, you, anyone around us are our own creators, right? Like, nobody can see the world how we see. Right. I think that we're all unified and we're here for a purpose together, but I don't think I believe in, like, Jesus. I like the idea of, I mean, whatever, like, your definition of what God is, it means different things to different people. Um, but I like the idea of God speaks to you through other people. 
your experiences and what you see. Yeah. Yeah. I do believe those lessons are the, yeah. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. That's how I think. The word universe to me is like more palatable than the word God. I mean, I was raised an atheist, so I was like the complete opposite of you. Right. But, um, the word God makes me like kind of uncomfortable simply because I was raised by like a father who was like, like even when I try and like pray, this is not real praying now. Like, you know, like some people are like in Jesus name we pray. Like, I don't think I'm praying to somebody. I'm like just talking to myself. I'm like, yeah. I just want to have like more patience with my kids. I want to be calm. I want to embrace my femininity, but still be mm-hmm. masculine, you know, like talk to my grandpa if he can hear me, you know, like type of thing. But I think, like my prayer, even meditation has been like completely shifted within like the last two years. Yeah. Hey guys, if you want to support my show, then you should think about joining my Patreon. At my Patreon, I offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support. From live streams of my interviews as they are happening, to bonus Q and A's, behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots, plus cool merch like stickers, mugs, and hoodies, we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered, and while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates.